what interests me is this multitude of the experiences people have when looking at the sky. We have one sky, but the experiences are infinite and they depend on the location from which you're looking at the sky, on the time of day, on the climate. Most of all, it really depends on your eyes, your subjective view. So the machine learning representation under these algorithms um, is meant to capture a large number of images into something that's relatively small compared to the size of all images uh, put together. Uh, we call, them, call these representations epitomies because they epitomize the entire collection. We started with images of skies and started creating these huge epitomies of skies. And we use various types of constraints in addition to whether the images match nicely or not to uh, represent the artistic vision of Maya about what sort of things we want to show. Uh, how do we want to capture human experience of these skies? Suppose that you wanted to create some representation of the skies um, from a certain location in the world, and let's say that you're interested in polar skies. So one way uh, to build the pyramids of polar skies would be to download images from the web that you get a response to searches for polar sky. So then Maya performed searches uh, like that to get the most evocative images of polar skies. And then uh, my algorithm summarized them into these epitomies that capture the essence of these skies. Maya has also added faces of people that would live in these areas as if they were actually looking at these epitomies. And she's made a series of pieces like this from various um, uh, locations in the, in the world and also from various time points in the world that are supposed to be evocative of what people would have thought the skies were at those locations at those moments in time. Uh, another example is creating a world map of skies. And there, the idea was that we wanted to have one thing that looks like a world map, but from every point in that world map, you would see a typical image that is most evocative of that location. And so when you do all of this, um, you get this representation of the global sky. It's sort of as if you're lying in a hammock and looking up in the sky, but you see uh, the sky from all vantage points at once.